Hey everybody, welcome to Montana Musings Outdoor Channel. Um, I'm just wondering, have any of you ever heard of the 218B or owned a lever action in that caliber? I had never heard of it um, and I've never seen one, but uh, my son was, this is quite a while ago, but um, my son was in a store and called me up and asked me, hey, do you need anything? And I was reloading 223 at the time and um, I said, yeah, pick me up some, some, you know, light 45 grain bullets. And so he did, because I was loading for a varmint. And, uh, but he picked up some, he grabbed the wrong box. It was the 218B, and it's a 224 caliber. But uh, anyway, I just thought, well, that's interesting. I never heard of it. It's kind of a neat bullet design. And I haven't seen much about it on YouTube, so I thought we'd just talk about it a little bit. So... Anyway, let's head over to the table and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so there's the 218B cartridge. And uh, like I say, I've never seen one. It was made for a Marlin 1894 uh, 1-16 inch twist. And uh, it's, it's, it's got some history of 1938. Um, and then it had a lot of competition, so apparently it died out. Um, but uh, in the 45 grain, this is the one that I have. And I have some H110, which if I had that case, it would kick it out there about 2,800 feet per second. And I don't, um, but my thing is, I'm thinking I want to load it in one, some 223 and just see what it does. So... Um, here's a quick look at it. It's, uh, really an interesting little bullet. It almost looks like a FTX, um, horn the FTX. It's kind of, kind of cool. So, um, can tell that was a long time ago, 1695, but, um, so I was thinking about putting it into some 223 and, uh, some of the lighter weight stuff here like the 45 grain hornet it should be relatively the same and uh, if I loaded it down like I've got some H335 if I just put 23 grains and got it up to 3100 I don't I don't know if that would work these are kind of a varmint so they're thin walled and uh, I'm just thinking that and it was made for a 1 in 16 twist, so I'm thinking that maybe it might be a little hard on the bullet. It might come apart. I'm not sure. But my AR is a 1 to 9, so it's not a fast twist, but it's much faster than what it was designed for. So um, and maybe if I loaded it down a little more just to, uh, I don't know, just try it out. I don't think it would hurt anything, so probably just load it down to that 23 grains of H335 and see what it'll do so anyway that's probably going to be my next reloading project Oops, little tiny thing but um anyway if this kind of interests you or if you got any ideas or ran into anything like this uh, leave it in the comment section because i'd like to hear what you got to say about it so um thanks for watching montana musings and if you're still watching please subscribe and uh and Give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Still trying to grow this channel, so we'll catch you in the next one.